It's new reaction now to a school bus lawsuit. Virginia Beach schools, the bus driver and bus assistant are asking that lawsuit be dismissed. This deals with how a boy with Down syndrome was treated on the bus. Investigative reporter Chris Horn's been following this case since last year. He joins us with that new court paperwork. Chris? Tom, we've seen the video and the aide on board the bus who pushed the child and held him in place on his seat. He has pleaded guilty to assault. That was earlier this year. But the school system and former superintendent Aaron Spence, along with several other school administrators, are trying to get the lawsuit thrown out. Tony and Crystal Morrow were outraged when they saw this video from last year. It showed their son, Giovanni, who's nonverbal with Down syndrome, on his bus home from Princess Anne Elementary. That's bus assistant Lester Langhorn pushing Bonnie across the seat and using his right hand to push the boy's throat or neck to keep him in place. The Morrows filed charges and Langhorn pleaded guilty to misdemeanor assault and battery in January. The lawsuit names the Virginia Beach School Board, former Superintendent Aaron Spence, officials with school bus transportation and programs for exceptional children, the bus driver, and Langhorn, the aide who put his hands on Vonnie. The lawsuit alleges that the driver and his assistant mocked Vonnie when it was suggested by a third person that Vonnie be put in a garment bag or burlap bag as a way to control him. This week, the attorney for all of the defendants except Langhorn responded. They say that Vonnie was not discriminated against based on his disability. The defendants state the video shows Vonnie repeatedly manipulating and unbuckling his seatbelt. They also dispute the lawsuit's claim that the school system was negligent and failed to train its employees properly. They are asking that the lawsuit be dismissed with prejudice, meaning that it could not be filed again later on. And the attorney for Vonnie Morrow and his parents had no comment today, and neither did the school system. We'll follow this. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.